Hello everyone. Thank you for always watching Tomo's favorite channel. Actually, my son will be studying at the high school in India from this month. And my son and I will be moving there. For the past few months, I was able to finally welcome the day of departure today while working on the transfer of work, cleaning up the house, packing luggage. It's been three years since I've been to India, but this time I'm excited to be living in India instead of staying for a few weeks like as I used to. It's time to say goodbye, all the beauty of Japan. This time, I booked a flight with all Nippon Airways. On direct flights from Narita to Mumbai, each person can carry up to 23 kg of checked luggage and 10 kg of carried on luggage. My husband and daughter are traveling together, so we have a total of 224 kg of luggage, but we were able to carry it all by attaching a luggage carrier to the hitch member for the camping trailer. This time, we had to carry our forms with us, but otherwise it was normal. When we arrived at the airport, we showed our passport, online boarding pass, and PCR test negative certificate, and checking was completed immediately. Before boarding, we had the seafood rice bowl because we would miss Japanese food in India. The flight was not crowded and we boarded the plane smoothly. Now, it's time to take off. You can see rice fields, lush greenery, and beautiful Japanese towns. After all, Japan is a green and beautiful country. In Tokyo Bay, the drink service will begin. By the time I set my traveler kit, we made a toast with the gin and tonic. Cheers! For the meal, I choose the bowl of bibimbap and ice cream for dessert. The crunchy ice cream I eat on board has a special taste. The cabin was also dimmed to night mode. Airplanes are evolvingly year by year, with window screens becoming button type and lightning with relaxing colors. is over India, our 10 hours flight is almost over. Mumbai airport is surrounded by buildings and slums. At 
Mumbai Airport, only my passport and permanent residency were confirmed, and I was able to go out smoothly. Since we were meeting with the driver, we left our luggage and head to Pune by our own car. The road near the airport is so organized and beautiful. The roads in Mumbai are so busy that it will take about 4.5 hours drive. India is very lively probably because there are many young people. There are many roads without lanes, so it is difficult to move forward in the evening when cars are appearing from all directions and it is crowded. out of the traffic and onto the highway. We stopped by a restaurant on the way to have dinner. Drinks in the restaurant were about the same price as Japanese izakaya. There are always two types of dishes, veg and non-veg. First of all, from my favorite masar papara, it goes well with sweet mojito with plenty of mint and lemon, then chili chicken, Indian dark soy sauce also has a richer flavor than Japanese soy sauce. Butter chicken and naan for men. The naan is crispy. We've enjoyed our meal, so we are going to hit the road again. We left Mumbai airport at 6 p.m. and arrived in Pune at 11 p.m. Life here starts now. I will very soon start sharing my life experiences in India. Thank you for watching my video. See you soon.